హాయ్ ఎవరి వన్ దిస్ ఈస్ అనిల్ కుమార్ ఐ డన్ మై ఎండి అనస్టీజియా అండ్ ఐ హ్ గివన్ మై ఎడిక్ పార్ట్ వన్ రీసెంట్లీ ఇన్ ద లాస్ట్ ఏప్రిల్ ఎగ్జామ్ అండ్ ఐ పాస్ డిట్ సో ఐ వాంట్ టు మేక్ దిస్ వీడియో అబౌట్ హౌ టు ప్రిపేర్ ఫర్ ఎడిక్ పార్ట్ వన్ ఎగ్జామ్ సో దట్ ఇట్ విల్ హెల్ప్ యూ పీపుల్ ఓవర్ ఈస్ ప్రిపేరింగ్ సి ఎడిక్ పార్ట్ వన్ ద ఎగ్జామ్ ప్యాటర్న్ అండ్ ద ఎగ్జామినేషన్ ద ఎవరింగ్ ద డీటెయిల్స్ యూ గెట్ ఇన్ ద ఆన్లైన్ ఇన్ ద ఈఎస్ఐసిఎం వెబ్సైట్ సో ఐమ్ నాట్ టాకింగ్ అబౌట్ దాట్ so basically the exam has 10 mcq 100 mcqs sorry 100 mcqs they ask about the core intensive care medicine nothing about from the anesthesia nothing from the core internal medicine they ask you they ask you only about the core intensive care medicine for example for my exam they covered every topic except obstetric critical care okay i could hardly find any questions on obstetrics otherwise all the topics have been covered so how many months required to prepare for the exam so this is this question frequently you know people text me or call me and ask my friends or my you know juniors or seniors who is going to write the exam so i registered in the for the exam in december 2021 and i gave the exam in april 2022 so after registration there will be like 4 to 5 months for the exam okay so i started in december but the pace was very slow in december uh then in the january i fastened up the you know the studying uh, this thing but from the Feb- february and march i studied regularly because i was working and studying as doing my sirship in mumbai in most of the busiest hospital so i could study only maximum 4 hours a day 4 to 5 max so february and march regularly i studied four to five hours and december and january i studied but the pace was little slow okay so if you prepare you know dedicate yourself for three to four months continuously regularly you, every day you study definitely you can crack it okay so the best sources or the must do things for the exam must read topics or the must read books or the sources is the first and foremost is the bennington internal Oh, sorry intensive care medicine mcqs okay part 1 and part 2 means the old edition one and the recent one we have two books uh, first to start with the recent one i think it's a 2014 or 15 is the latest one so bennington intensive care medicine mcqs is the must okay it is the key okay because the description which are given the questions they have asked they covered everything even though the questions won't come as directly from the bennington you know the pattern is same okay and one more in my exam edic i gave the first first time and i cleared it uh, so but the options were so confusing you know they even though they ask you the questions about the familiar topics they confuse you a lot from the options when you are reading the top options like four five options will be there you find like every option is correct so it is you know it's very difficult to choose so read in depth whatever you are reading the topics so please first do the bennington mcqs then you can do also the lobes but bennington is definitely must do i didn't do the lobes i didn't get time i did the bennington like uh, maybe 3 4 times i think four three times for sure i have done okay and the second recommended is um gtm you know go to extramil.com gtm is is an online platform for mcqs in intensive care medicine it has around 2000 to 2500 intensive care medicine mcqs okay it is actually uh run by uh, australian based intensivist okay dr sumesh arora sir it is a wonderful app even though we have an android and also the apple app for that go to extra mile so you can subscribe it is very less it's like in indian rupees it's 5000 for a year okay so they have covered each and every topic in the critical care the description sir has mentioned given the questions if the questions are not exactly from the uh the, the pattern of the questions are not same as that you seen edic okay but your concepts will definitely will get better if you solve the questions from the gtm and if you read those descriptions okay especially the crrt and the ecmo is very well explained in a very simple way and you know it definitely help you a lot for the edic exams okay i would recommend you to take that gtm okay and bennington and the third one see i did these two very seriously okay i did gtm i revised gtm two three times and i did bennington and i revised it like three four times okay that helped me a lot okay actually even one more thing they recommend is the edic modules okay they have a topic on all the icu topics and they have written modules 
uh, what i felt is is very exhaustive you know it's very lengthy i don't think you can uh, work and you can study all those modules because it is lots of revision it's so for example in ERDS it's some 60 70 pages okay correctly raised about you know 250 300 pages so it's like it's very you know lengthy okay but definitely if you get time go through that if you don't get time i don't say like it is must to do okay but bennington and gtm is the must to do okay so i honestly speaking i did only few gt uh, edic modules okay like cardiac i did some of the infections part some of the ethics and statistics part i did but otherwise nothing else i did because i didn't get time okay so i just focused on what i already did and i revised it bennington and gtm that those two really helped me to pass the exam and one more they recommend or what they recommended is uh, ESICM modules if you take the membership you will get a modules you know where there will be, will be online some uh, teaching uh, videos are there online videos and there are also uh, MCQs you know to practice uh, I go I didn't subscribe for membership actually but I got those you know questions from one of my friend who already subscribed okay she gave me the login details but I checked and I did few you know I did few and also I got few of the screenshots from some telegram group so i did few uh, i should not deny that but what i felt is the questions which are there in the ES, ESICM modules are not of the same pattern as you see in the edic okay in edic they will not ask you the direct you know on the, they ask you the questions but the options are not in the modules they're very easy i felt but in the options which are they give in the actual exam they are very much confusing okay so if you get time after you know doing Bennington and the GTM very thoroughly if you have time go for ESCM modules and go for edit modules you know to read and to revise okay but don't start with the edit module don't start with the ESCM modules I don't think it will help so start with the Bennington start with GTM and as a reference book I, I had read Washington much before I start for the exam I read Washington in my second year and third year MD so you know so I knew what is there in the Washington and I used to refer whenever I get out. Washington Man of Critical Care is a wonderful book as you everybody know. Okay, so I think keep one book as a reference and you can you know build the concepts by solving the MCQs of the GTM and Bennington. And one more they say read articles again. Reading articles gives you a lot of you know confidence, the lot of knowledge, the lot of recent updates, but again it is very much time consuming okay so if you're working and if you want to sit and prepare for like three four months for the exam and want to pass i don't recommend articles reading articles is a good option and one more thing i did was i subscribed for an online classes in critical care by dr harish mm harish master class in critical care he's a bangalore based intensivist his classes are really excellent okay he has some 50 videos covering all the icu topics excellent videos but again i didn't get time to finish all the videos but whatever i did i revised you know but they're really helpful okay i would recommend you to do if you get time you know but whatever you read whatever you watch if without solving mcqs it goes waste so please start with bennington start with the gtm and meanwhile you you know refer to the washington manual and also the harish sir classes you can watch okay i think these four GTM, Bennington, Harish Sir classes of critical care medicine and uh, Washington manual I think these four are the key for success in edit part one okay if you have any doubts you can you know uh, uh, text me in the comment section or ask me any doubt I'm happy to you know come back to you and reply to clear your doubts okay I hope this is useful for you guys. Uh, thank you.